exposing media bias in Palestinian coverage. In the tumultuous landscape of Israel's occupation of Palestine, the role of mainstream media stands as a pivotal force in shaping public perception and understanding. However, beneath the veneer of objectivity lies a troubling reality, a pervasive bias that consistently favors the narrative of the oppressor over that of the oppressed. At the heart of this biased reporting lies a fundamental imbalance in the portrayal of the parties involved. While Israel, with its well-equipped military and unwavering support from global powers, occupies a position of unparalleled power, it is often cast as the victim in mainstream media narratives. Meanwhile, the Palestinians who endure the daily hardships of occupation, displacement, and dispossession are relegated to the role of aggressors or terrorists. This skewed portrayal not only distorts the truth but also perpetuates a narrative of victimhood for the oppressor, effectively shielding Israel from accountability for its egregious violations of international law and human rights. By framing Israeli military actions as necessary responses to Palestinian provocation, mainstream media outlets obscure the root causes of the conflict and perpetuate a false equivalency between occupier and occupied. Moreover, the language employed in mainstream media coverage serves to further entrench these biases. Terms like clashes or conflict are used to describe Israeli military incursions into Palestinian territories, sanitizing the violence perpetrated by the occupying force and erasing the asymmetry of power between the two sides. This linguistic sleight of hand effectively absolves Israel of responsibility for its actions and portrays the situation as a mere dispute between equals. Furthermore, the historical context of the conflict is often neglected or downplayed in mainstream media reports, denying audiences the critical understanding necessary to grasp the root causes of Palestinian resistance. The Nakba, or the catastrophic expulsion of Palestinians from their homes in 1948, is frequently sidelined, as is the ongoing expansion of illegal Israeli settlements in the occupied territories. This selective amnesia serves to perpetuate a narrative of Israeli victimhood while erasing the history of Palestinian dispossession and displacement. Perhaps most insidiously, mainstream media coverage of Israel's occupation of Palestine often dehumanizes Palestinians, reducing them to stereotypes of violence and extremism. By focusing disproportionately on episodes of Palestinian resistance, while ignoring the systemic violence of the occupation, media outlets reinforce negative stereotypes and justify Israel's oppressive policies. This dehumanization not only distorts public perception, but also serves to justify and perpetuate the cycle of violence and oppression. In light of these pervasive biases, it is incumbent upon media consumers to seek out alternative sources of information and perspectives. By challenging the dominant narrative and demanding more balanced and ethical journalism, we can work towards a more just and equitable understanding of the Israeli occupation of Palestine. Only by confronting and dismantling the structures of bias and oppression embedded within mainstream media can we hope to achieve a future of peace and justice for all peoples involved.